Yeah. I was on an episode of Pawn Stars a couple of months back. I did Pawn Stars too. Oh, did you? Like that show, it really shows how fake like television is because, you know, I didn't get like featured as somebody who sold something on the show. Like I was just walking around in the back. Oh, uh, that's all. Uh, see, you did. Uh, so you didn't have actual camera right next to you with you and someone else. Oh, I did. At one point, like when somebody was showcasing their item, I was standing right next to them, but I didn't. No, have but I'm saying I'm not speaking. talking about. I'm saying for you, when you were there to talk about your item, they didn't have cameras on you. They made me well. put my item back in my car. Oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> See, when they when they took my ring, they because um, Chum Lee said I he he told me he said I want to wear the ring on the beach. He said I I can see me wearing this. So they had me and him like you know the like you know other people walk around in the background, but. They had me and him, like, you know, recording with the camera right in front of my face, of course. Yeah, no, they went around and kind of had everybody talk about their item, but then, like, production came out and was like, look, like, everybody loves your lampshade, but the viewers are not going to like your lampshade. Hey, if you will you be my artistic hero? My what? Artistic hero. <laughs> um, yeah, they made me put it back in my car, even though, like, Production and the crew themselves, like all the guys, they were like, we love this, this is like fucking awesome, but like, we have to think about the viewers and we don't want people from middle America complaining about the yeah. fucking Ed Gein's lamp, like, yeah. <laughs> so I, I had an alternative item in my car, because if I didn't, then they would have kicked me off, Yeah. but um, the, it's so fake because... They, that's they I'm said telling, it was like, like day one, day two, day three. But, but that's why I'm see, telling you, Nifty, when I tell you about the price, like, everything is not what it seems with them. And I've seen that shit. Like, in, in four years span, it's a long time for you to see a bunch of fuckery, like you said, the fake, you know, or whatever. But it's, all, it's because things have to sell, you know, it has to look good or whatever. They said they that they broke up the whole Rhode Island thing into day one day two day three yes. but you can see me in the background shots of every single day <laughs> so it's like you know what i mean oh and then the other thing too is like uh fucking rick the main guy yeah, rick. he's like talking to some lady about her item and he's like i've got a guy for this just give me a uh, just hang tight and, and and i'm gonna go talk to my guy turns around takes five steps cut all right, and action turns back around, walks right to the lady. Okay, so I talked to my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's how. But that's how film is, though. That's like you know they they have such of a pawn stars is such of a big um, big um, show. You know they have to do. It's it severely autistic and can't find a good caretaker. Yeah, they they have to do it like that though. 